Shalom. My name is Aitari, for those of you who don't know me. This video is a remake of my previous video titled, I am Aitari. And the audio and the video wasn't very good and I stuttered a lot, so I wanted to do a remake. I will recover everything in that previous video as well as offer additional information. I will reveal to you more hand gestures for many Manakati words today. If you are on YouTube, click over here to access the closed caption. This video will have closed caption in multiple languages. So if you require a closed caption in your language, just comment in the video and I will see what I can do. This is a very important video for me, for you today. I'm here to tell you about the prophecy concerning me and the ancient Hebrew language known as Manakati. This prophecy is located in Zephaniah 3, 9 to 10. I am going to read to you the King James Version of this prophecy. Then I will give you the correct translation. The King James Version is a mistranslation. Zephaniah 3, 9 to 10. For then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliants, even the daughter of my dispersed, shall bring mine offering. What does that scripture mean? Those two verses are very confusing because the King James Version mistranslated it. This is the proper translation. Zephaniah 3 9 speaks concerning the pure language according to King James. I chose the translation authentic language because the Manakati language was founded in hand signs. Ancient biblical Hebrew is the Manakati language. I refer to Manakati as ancient biblical Hebrew, but it's not Hebrew. The Manakati language is the language before Hebrew. It's the language of Noah and his three sons. This is the language that all humans in the days of Noah, the days when his sons repopulated the earth, this is the language they spoke. I wrote the details and the archeological evidences in this book, The Origins of Language. You can access this book on Amazon Kindle, or you can get this book for just $4.99. You can get this book on Amazon if you're not in the United States, or you can go to Primitive Sign Language backslash shop. I am going to read the literal translation to you and also put up the Manakati symbols here on the screen for you with the English translation. For then will I return to the people, authentic language, to call on the name of Yahweh to serve him, shoulder one, from beyond to the rivers of Cush, I thought he, daughter of the dispersed, shall bring Manakati. This is what it really says. To access these literal translations, get the book or go to primitivesignlanguage.com. I just read to you the verse and I gave you the correct translation, but that is simply not enough to prove that I am I thought he, daughter of the diaspora. I'm going to prove to you that I have the authentic language of the ancient Hebrew language, and it's called Manakati. In this book, The Etymology of Ancient Biblical Hebrew, I prove that ancient Hebrew was founded in sign language. Ancient Hebrew is called Manakati, and I also prove that in this book. I have more revelation concerning Manakati. Uh, today, I'm going to show you the hand gesture of Manakati and additional information concerning what Manakati means. Let me take a moment to show you the hand signs for the ancient Hebrew symbols, as well as how to sign many words. I'm going to cover many words that I didn't cover in the previous I Am I Thoughty video. So those of you who have already watched it, please stay tuned. Now I will introduce to you some Manakati hand signs. The first hand sign that I'm going to introduce to you is the beat symbol. The beat symbol communicates with, on, against, you can only know this by knowing Manakati is a hand gesture. The next symbol is an opposite symbol, Lamad. Lamad looks like this. Lamad is hand sign like this. It's opposite to beat. Lamad communicates too. If you tell somebody to go out or you tell them to go to, 
you're pointing that way. The Lamad hand gesture points, it also directs. The next hand gesture is the cop symbol. The cop symbol is called the palm. If you notice, it's an open palm gesture and it's that symbol. The next symbol is the abal symbol. This is the hand sign of the abal symbol. Does it look like the abal symbol? The hand sign of the ball symbol is a fan. It's my hand waving air in my face. A ball, if you check it out in the strong concordance, it means vapor, it means breath. But I believe it means air also. When you fan yourself like this, you get air. A ball means air, vapor, breath. It also communicates spirit. A ball also means vanity. When somebody thinks less of you, <clears throat> They go like that. Please, please, they shoo you away. A ball hand sign is also used to shoo things away. This is why a ball means vanity or useless. It also means idle, something useless. An idle is a useless thing. Now to show you the hand gestures. How to sign Manakati. Manakati is the name of this language, but what does this language mean? In my previous video, I mentioned that Manakati means offering. When you look it up, it does mean offering. However, it has other meanings. Another meaning that Manakati has is rest or peaceful state. In Zephaniah 3 and 10, Aithari, the daughter of the diaspora, is mentioned bringing the language called Manakati. In this verse, it does not mean offering. It's referring to the language. The language is called Manakati. So this, this word actually has a different meaning. I believe that Manakati does mean restful and peaceful state, as in unity. In Zephaniah 3, 9 to 10, it mentions that the people of the world would be one shoulder. One shoulder communicates being in agreement, being at peace, being in a restful state. So while Manakati does mean rest, I realize that it has another meaning. Manakati means from hand gestures. That's right. The name Manakati means from hand gestures. I'm going to show you why right now. The word Manakati, the first letter is the mean letter. The mean, if you study Hebrew, is a prefix to many words. And the word Manakati of Zephaniah 3 and 10 is also used as a prefix to mean from. The second letter is the noon letter. The noon is called the sprout. The attributes of a sprout is that it's new or that it comes forth and it communicates birth, okay? So the noon symbol communicates origin and birth. So stay with me for a moment. Next is what's going to be signed. The noon letter is signed upward as if something is growing. So if you notice, my hand gesture is drawing out the shape of the noon symbol, okay? The noon symbol goes upward. It communicates going up. It communicates origin in the word of Manakati. This is how you sign the rest of the letters. Kaitz, the Kaitz letter is the wall. The Kaitz letter always has the Abba letter on its wall. If you notice, the symbol looks like a wall and then the Abba symbol Looks like it's hitting it. Well, that's because the hand gesture hits the wall. The abal symbol communicates many things, but in this word, in Manakati, it's communicating this. It's not communicating anything but what you see. It's communicating me hitting my hand. Stay with me. The next letter is the Thu letter. The Thu letter is called a mark. A mark is a sign, okay? So, hand, sign. The last word is the yid symbol. The yid in the end of this word is communicated plural. Okay? So I'm going to put this word together. Manakati. From origin hand sign plural. From origin of hand signs. 
That's what Manakati means. Manakati means from origin of hand sign, according to these symbols. You can know this by reading my book. I hope you're still with me and excited to learn some more hand signs. This word, sapar, is signed like this. This is the Manakati hand gesture for sapar. Now, why is that the sapar hand gesture? The Manakati symbols told me to do this. The first letter is the Samic letter. Now, Samic, I discovered, means grasp. But if you were to ask somebody who speaks Hebrew, they would tell you something different. Some will tell you they don't know. For the most part, people do not know what the Samic letter means. If you visit PrimitiveSignLanguage.com, you can find out what all the symbol means. And this is what the Samic means. Samic means grasp. As you see, I'm grasping my hand. If you look in the Strong's Concordance, you'll see that they say the Samic means hold. If you see, I'm also holding my hand. This is where the meaning of the Samic symbol comes from. It means grasp, not hold, because to grasp is to hold. Now, this symbol is utilized in the word Sapar because it looks like a scroll, like you're about to open a scroll. So. You grab the scroll and then you open. The paw letter is the second letter. The paw letter, as you see, if you see this way, it, it's, it's an opening. The paw letter means opening. And if you notice, my hands are open. This is the hand gesture of the paw symbol. Okay, you could maybe see it better like this or like this. So you take the sonic symbol and then you connect it with the pa symbol. And then you have the, the last symbol, which is the ra'ash symbol. The ra'ash symbol means head. But why does it mean head? If you look at my hands, this is the shape of the ra'ash symbol. This is where the symbol gets. This is the hand gesture of the ra'ash symbol. The ra'ash symbol is used in many words to communicate writing and other things but it means head because it looks like my hand is like a puppet. It's a puppet hand gesture. Gala. This is the Manakati word meaning uncover. This is the hand gesture. If you notice, I reached down and it looked like I took off a cover and I threw it out. These symbols told me to go like this. Okay, and the meaning of gala means uncover. And as you see, the first letter is gamal. The gamal letter is called the camel. Gamal means camel. If you notice, it looks like a camel's head as it bounces. The gamal hand gesture does this. In words, the gamal symbol is communicated this action. The only way you're going to know that is by reading my book because I explain the many attributes of the Gamal letter and other letters. The next letter in Gala is the Lamed letter. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the Lamed letter is signed like this. The Lamed letter typically means out or to in many words, but it has other meanings. The Lamed letter is signed like this, and it basically is communicating that the cover just came out. Okay, so it, it still means out in the word. You're not going to know that the Lamed letter in the word Gala is communicating out if you don't know that the hand gesture to communicate Gala means out. The last letter is the Abal symbol. The Abal symbol is a fan. And when you remove a cover and you take it out, it, uh, some wind happens, you know, like it's basically you're shooing it away. The Abal symbol is communicating this, this fan-like gesture of the cover that is being removed. The cover, as you know, is fictitious according to the animated symbol of Gala. Kala. Kala means dog in Manakati. Why does Kala mean dog? Well, the symbol looks like I am walking a dog and the dog is pulling me, so I need to pull back. 
I'm throwing the leash down and the dog pulls me, but then I have to pull back. That is what the Kalab symbol is communicating. The cop symbol, the Lamad symbol, and then the beat symbol. Kalab. This Manakati word is Dabar. Dabar means speak or speech. It means words also. This is how you sign the bar. This is the hand sign of the bar. If you notice, this hand gesture is very familiar. When someone is talking too much, this is what people might do. This is very typical. This is the common human hand gesture for talking. Another common hand gesture would be shut up. Now, this is not in the Manakati language, but I just want to show you Basically, the Dabar hand gesture, which means talking, is going backwards and it's stopping. If you've ever seen anybody do this to tell you to be quiet or to shh, they're doing the Dabar hand gesture backwards. So this language, the Manakati language, is a universal language that all humans use to utilize. This is the language of Noah and his three sons, and as you know, they repopulated. To the learn word. more about the Manakati language, you can see my book, The Origins of Language. In this book, I cover how this language was among all the sons of Noah and all nations, the, the nations that were in the beginning, according to the Bible, they utilize these symbols. And these symbols, um, they're everywhere, okay? The, the Manakati symbols, I'll put it up right here, are everywhere, okay? Ancient Greek utilize these symbols. Ancient Latin utilize these symbols. As you know, um, Aramaic utilize those symbols, okay? And they're usually thought of as Hebrew, but it's not Hebrew. Um, also, the Canaanites utilize these symbols. So these symbols do not belong to just one country. The Manakati symbol is for everybody. This is why I am providing a closed caption of this video in multiple languages. The Manakati language is the language of the world. The next Manakati word that I'm gonna hand sign is the word wing. The word wing is spelled like this. This is the kana. The word wing also communicates extremity. I'm going to sign for you the word wing. Ka, na. I'm gonna do it again. Ka, not. If you notice my hand gesture, just reference the outer, the outer areas of a bird, the wing, the extremities. I outlined with my hands the extremities. It's like I'm drawing a bird. The ka symbol is palm. As you notice, I go down. The noon symbol comes up and then I open with the paw symbol. These symbols told me to do what you saw. You can't refute it. This is the hand gesture of kana. This Manakati word is cool. Cool means to provide. This is how you sign cool. I utilize the cop hand sign and the ooh hand sign and then the Lamed hand sign. They work together to communicate. It looks Lamed. like I'm picking up something, I have it in my hand, and I'm passing it along. These letters communicate that. This Manakati word is Bakuai. Bakuai means hatch. This is a very fun word to hand sign. Did you catch all the hand gestures? The ayin letter is being hit by the kup letter. And if you notice, I brought it in. So the first symbol is the bead symbol of bringing it in. The kup symbol on top of the ayin letter. You would never know the origin of baku ai if you didn't know the hand gesture. This is well understood. Picture yourself cracking an egg. Zakar means male. And it also means remember. The letters are the same. Zakar, 
for remember and zakar for male, the hand gesture is totally different. Zakar, as in remember, is hand sign like this. Zakar, as in male, will not be shown to you by me because the hand gesture is gross and it's unbecoming of me as a woman to show you. I can have a male person show you at another time if you really need to see it, but I will read those myself. of you who have read my book, Primitive Sign Language, feel free to comment the meaning of the Zayin letter in Zakar. I am done showing you the hand signs for the Manakati words today. However, I have one more Manakati word to review. Pilgash. The Manakati word Pilgash means concubine, but in modern times, it means girlfriend or lover. This word I can't show you how to sign because it's gross, but I am going to tell you about it. The hand sign for this word is communicating, jerking off. A girlfriend or a concubine or pilgash is a thing that you use to jerk off to. A concubine or a girlfriend is not a wife. It's not someone you've committed yourself to, but it's a woman, a temporary wife for the day, as long as you decide to keep her or as long as she decides to stay. Okay, you can see this in the story of Abraham and Hagar. Hagar left and it was her right, she didn't sin. Left Abraham but then decided to come back and that was fine with Abraham when she came back. And then Abraham sent Hagar away. That was fine too. He sent her away with a bag of, of food and, and water and that was it. She didn't get she didn't get anything. She didn't get any inheritance. Her son didn't get inheritance. Because Isaac was Abraham's firstborn in the eyes of Yahweh, Ishmael had to go away. Hagar didn't have a covenant. Hagar was a surrogate. She was Pilgash. Now a surrogate is a woman that has a child for another woman. So Ishmael was supposed to be Sarah's adoptive son, but instead, you know, Yah promised that it would be Isaac. And so Sarah had to let go of Ishmael and Ishmael stayed with Hagar. If you look up Pilgash in the Strong Concordance, you'll find that the people who translated the Bible did not know the origins of this word. They didn't know the meaning of this word. I am Aitari, and I'm telling you that Pilgash means jerking off. If you read my book, Primitive Sign Languages, you would come to this conclusion by studying all the letters. Okay, I will reveal to it to you in a post what it means, um, why these letters mean what it means, but I cannot sign it. It's it it literally the hand gesture is jerking off. Okay? Imagine what jerking off looks like. That's the hand gesture. I shall not sign it, but you do need to know that peel gosh means jerking off. Something you jerk off to. Ouch. Those of you who are girlfriends. <laughs> Those of you who are girlfriends or lovers or surrogates, I guess. Yahweh never ordained the daughters of Yisharal to be peel gosh. Sisters, be careful. Some brothers are out there trying to tell you it's okay for you to be a concubine and a girlfriend. Some people are even telling you that having sex makes you married. Some Israelites are professing this law. I already refuted it in my video marriage covenant long time ago many years and i talk often about this subject but i'm going to continue with this subject of the language and i'm going to leave this alone now that i proved to you that i am aitari and that i have the knowledge of the hand gestures consider showing your support by purchasing this book because i have volume two to write volume two will be a dictionary of all manakati words written in the bible and it will reveal to you all the hand signs concerning this language. This information is not available anywhere else. I am the only one who can tell you this because I am my thought. I was prophesied in the scriptures. The almighty Yahweh gave me this information because I plainly asked for it. Making these videos takes time and I need to know that the people actually want this information. If you want this information, help me get the word out by sharing this video, liking it and subscribing and showing your support. Let me know your thoughts of this video, and if you have any questions, I will try to be available to answer them. 